guys, today we want to continue with ideal guesses. Last time we talked about um, the ideal guess law, which is P with the NRT. Here we are, this one here. Let me just put the highlight this. Huh? Uh, draw. Okay. All right, we talked about this law. Now, this is actually a combination of Boyle's law and Charles' law, it's called ideal guess law. Uh, this, this equation can only be applied if the conditions, the basic assumptions of kinetic theory is obeyed. The two important uh, tier, uh, assumptions here will be on, of course, the first one is the volume, okay? The molecular size, the volume of gas right here, okay? The size, volume of gas is negligible compared to the total volume it occupies. Okay, so you can even see the question come up. The volume is equal to zero. So of course, there's no intermolecular forces. Okay, right here, yeah. the intermolecular forces. No, so it's a no volume, no intermolecular attraction between. The gases, of course, talk about gases then. We did talk about uh, liquids and uh, solids there, okay? No intermolecular forces attraction, okay? It means it's zero. So if these two conditions apply, then you get ideal, ideal behavior, the conditions, huh? So with these two main conditions here, you get ideal. Ideal means what? They will follow Boyle's law. They will follow P, V, equals to NRT. All the calculations here will be perfect, right? So, of course, now we talk about, well, what are the limitations? What are the conditions where this law breaks down? That means it will not give you a, a, a perfect answer. Now, one of the main things that will show that it's not ideal is when you plot, I'm going to show off this, okay? When you plot a PV against P or V here, right? Now, if it's ideal, it'd be like a straight line here, okay? Right? Because PV is constant, what we did before, is it? So if it's not ideal, it will deviate from here. You can do two ways. It can a negative, it goes down here, I put a blue color here. It goes a negative deviation. Okay. Here. Yeah. Negative deviation. Okay. And or it go up to positive deviation. Some gases go up and down as the pressure increases. Some will just positive deviation. Okay. That is positive deviation. This is negative deviation. Okay, we're looking to do this, these things now. And of course, we also see how this whole equation here will actually show us whether a gas is ideal or not. Right? Now let's look at the uh, theory first. Huh? Okay, with this in mind, I thought all this thing already before. Huh? So now here is one example. Right? Yeah, so here, remember. When, 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 the, when the conditions are ideal, Boyle's law is followed. Or P, V equals to N, R, T is obeyed. Okay? Of course, earlier you can see all the graphs can get in, right? Right here. Right? All these graphs, right? Of course, the best way to prove a law is, a law is obeyed is a straight line graph, not a curve, you know? So this, this, this graph, this graph here, Right, this is, the, this is the main graph. This one here, okay? Straight line graph here, okay? Parallel to the axis, or a straight line graph here. P is one over V, okay, straight line, okay? So a straight line graph will actually, is the best way to show uh, that it's ideal. You will follow, right? So now here we see that here, okay, here. Now deviation. Right, now here I've got, uh, see, Boyle's law is a bit and low pressure. Pressure is one of the most important ones, okay? Why? Because low pressure, low pressure, the volume is normally large. Volume, oh dear, it's wrong spelling. Okay, volume. E-O-L-U-M-E is large or big, right? So large volume, normally you will consider the particles, the gas, the gases volumes are very small. Okay, so, and secondly, low pressure, right? Because the molecules are far apart, so there's 
less or no intermolecular forces. Okay, so under this low pressure, well, you have ideal obey God, uh, boy's law. Now high temperature also, yes, high temperature, which means that, means, means the, the particles are moving very fast, eh? particles are moving very fast. High energy, man, moves very fast. So there is hardly any time for them to have intermolecular forces. So there's, uh, well, less, almost negligible, negligible, negligible intermolecular forces. Okay, so these two will cause boys all to be obeyed. So what, what happens when it's not obeyed? When it's not obeyed, okay, that means it become what? Real gas. Okay, real gas. So what conditions will the Poise law break down or will ideal law break down? Of course, one is high pressure. Okay, so high pressure or, or and low temperature. Okay, these two will be when, when ideal break down, ideality break down, ideal gas law breaks down. You later you see a lot of questions on this, okay? Breaks down. Okay? So here we can see an example of three kinds of gases. So now remember this line, a PV against, uh, when you increase the pressure, so as the pressure increases, remember volume decreases, right? So the, the volume of the gases become important, you know? And also as the a, as a pressure increases here, uh, the, the particles run closer together and they will of course experience integral forces. So you can see that now, hydrogen goes straight away now. If you go up here, it's called positive deviation. Okay? If you go down here, here it's called negative deviation. Okay? It means the value is less than this is the ideal. Ideal. Okay? So the straight line here means ideal. Right? Straight line. So, what? Why is it positive division for hydrogen? Okay, so we see hydrogen experiences only the positive division because of volume factor. I'm gonna, uh, because it's, well, it's small and non polar, so there's very small or negligible what intermolecular forces. Now let's look at this first, okay? Now let's say I will explain it this way. I got two, I put it smaller, huh? I got two scenarios here. Let's say I got a, a, a volume of hydrogen gas here. Okay, the volume is 10 cm cube, actual volume, no, the size, huh? like here, okay, okay, right? All this here, by itself, inside here, they actually have a volume of 10 cm cube. But it occupies this whole thing here, and this whole thing here, right, the empty space is actually 100,000 cm cube, okay, it's the empty space. So the total space is actually 110 cm cube, right now. Uh, this, is a, this is an actual one, this is a real one, actual, okay? But we say that, well, uh, let's say this, this, this is an atmosphere of one atmosphere, okay? Right, but of course, if we were to say uh, the volume of the gas is negligible, that means the volume, the measured volume, okay? Measured volume is equal to 100,000 cm cube. If we say that this is negligible, I don't know it's better. Gible, B L E. Okay. Now here, if I increase the pressure to five hundred atmospheres, well, of course the volume will go down. Isn't it? But you see, the volume of your hydrogen here cannot change because it's not compressible. But the but the volume of the empty space change, you know? Okay. So the total measured volume is a measured volume, huh? Measured volume is two hundred ten. Right? Now, right? Because now because it. But, but the actual, uh, but, but the volume that we accounted, we say that, well, uh, uh, we, no, we, we measured, let's say we measured for calculation. That means that we neglect, we neglect the, that is it, the, the volume is equal to how much? 200 cm. Which means that, oh, this is negligible. Right? Now, so if we took, look at this here, the, the whole range here, okay, I'll just take the space here. So if it's one atmosphere, right? Now this is the this is the volume that we say 
is supposed to be because why the volume of the hydrogen is negligible, isn't it? So it's one hundred thousand. And here is five hundred. We say it's two hundred. Why? Because we we were, we say oh, it's negligible. Okay. So as now as we as we go on to here, right, that, is, that is the whole range. Okay. So increase in ten atmospheres is ten thousand. Five hundred is one thousand. Of course, then you p times v. Right. This time this. It's equal to hundred thousand. Also hundred thousand. Eh? So this is a constant. Oh, fantastic. That means you plot the graph, it will follow Boyle's laws, isn't it? But the real thing is, like here, okay, now this is the this is the real measured volume. As we did an experiment. Because the 10 here cannot be cannot be neglected, neglected. So it's 100 and 100,010. So if it's 10, it's very small, you know. Uh, is hardly not noticeable. Yeah, 100,000, 1,010 is not, not, not observable. But as you increase the pressure, right, the 10 same thing will times 10, you get 100, no? The, the 10 times 100 becomes 1,000. The 10 times 500 becomes 5,000. That means you can see that in this case here, right, okay, for low pressure, it's quite near here, so it's hardly negligible. Negli but as the temp as the pressure goes up, right, the 10 cm cube of the hydrogen times the increase in pressure will show a very positive deviation. See? This one is positive deviation. The positive deviation is due to the, the volume of the gases cannot be neglected. Okay? Cannot be ne neglected. So positive division is due to the volume factor. Okay, so you can see why uh, the the assumptions break down at very high pressures. Okay, now let's let's talk about now how about the uh, negative division. Now you must remember that here is the retarding forces of molecules just hitting the wall. Okay, right now you can you must understand like this. Now let's say I got two gas. Look, I just bought gas here one and two. Okay, and three and four, five and six. Okay, uh, we have one, one more here. Okay, one, okay, two, three. Okay, now this this fellow here, right? I make close together high pressure. Okay, high pressure. All right. So now when they're all moving, I'm just like. Oh, still no. Let's say freeze the whole moment. Now we say that well, uh, there is no intermolecular forces. In this way, it's true because this this further this attracted by here, but there's no one pulling down there. So the attraction of this force and this force is cancel, cancel, cancel. This will attract here, this will attract here. So cancel, cancel. This will attract here, this will attract here. Cancel, cancel. This will attract here, this will attract here. Cancel. That means there is no intermolecular force for this mod. Or this gas up because uh, all the forces of attraction cancel each other. That's not okay. So you can say that for the, the, the molecules of gases inside before it reaches here. Now this one is different. I'm gonna put red color. Okay. Now this fellow here. Oh still blue. Huh? Okay. Now this fellow here. Right? Of course, now there are three, well, three in line here. So this fellow attracts this fellow here. This is a pull here. Okay, it's cancelled out. But this fellow here attracts this fellow here. There's nothing for it to attract, you know. Right? They pull here, pull here. That means before it throw, hit the wall, right? there is a retarding force, you know. This fellow pull it back. That means the pressure as in the wall here is less than it's supposed to be if there is no gases here. So if you, if you talk about another fellow here, okay? This fellow here and far apart. So in this case, there's no gases here. Okay? No intermolecular forces here. So it hits here right now, without any retarding forces back here. But this guy hits here, which creates the pressure, the pressure here. Right now. So remember the particles that hit the wall creates the pressure. Yeah. So this fellow here has got two a few retarding forces here. So one, two, three. Here. In fact, there are more. So holding it back, so the pressure will be lower than here under the same circumstances. So 
here hit the wall without any retarding forces. That's why the pressure will be lowered, less. So if it's less, the pressure is less, that means PV will be, will be lower, it will be more negative, will be negative deviation. Okay? So you can see, you can understand why the two factors, okay? The volume factor and the pressure factor will affect the value of the PV. Okay? Right? So therefore, it either, so the volume will, the, the volume factor will cause the, the division to be positive and the pressure factor will cause to be negative. Now, interesting that here, here, here. Ah, now this is not very good diagram actually. Uh, I couldn't learn how, I did not know how to draw it properly. I was an idiot. Huh? Actually, this one should be like that. Okay. 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 But right. yes, very hard to draw last time. Huh? Okay, now my. So now, nitrogen. Now, here, of course, here I have got three types of gases. So it can be different. All right? Here, three types of gases. Huh? You can see here. Okay. Now, of course, other three types of gases here under the same conditions here, under the same conditions here, same pressure here. Nitrogen seems to be the most divisional. Okay, why? Because it is a very polar molecule. You learned before, is it? Right? Yeah. Okay, it is not symmetrical, and nitrogen is very electronegative. Okay, why is it not doing so? Let's do it again. Okay, right? I see. Sometimes this thing is bothering me. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, okay. Okay, this is very electronegative now. Because FON, remember? FON, fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen can exhibit what? Hydrogen bonding. So this is very delta negative, this is delta positive, and delta positive, delta positive. So when they near each other, of course, the hydrogen here. Right? Letter positive here will attract you know, this hydrogen bonds, hydrogen bonds, H bonds. Right? Now, this is methane, right? Even though it is symmetrical, we see the, the, the mu or the type of, well, the, this, this is called the, what, the, the polarity stuff, you know, is zero because why? Right, it is symmetrical thing. But still, this is more delta negative. This type dipole moment, by the way, positive. Okay. It's still a dipole substances. Okay, right. So here they will still attract each other. Okay, so that is a bit lower here. Right, it's not very low. So there is still retarding forces for methane. That's why it's negative deviation. Hydrogen not so much, you know, because it's H H and you know, also uh, the two electrons. So the 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 the, the, the band of forces here is. The induced induced dipolar is very small. So for hydrogen here, the volume factor is more important. Okay? So you can see here. So this fellow here is the most to behave non-ideally because of the larger intermolecular forces. You can see later in the questions come up. Okay. Now here you can see here. This of course nitrogen here is the same. Right? So all this here is uh, the number of moles all same. Right? They perform only R uh, with different temperatures. You can see here, the lower the temperature, right? Lower temperature is the, is the most deviation. Why? Low temperature and high temperature. Low temperature means uh, they move slower, right? Remember, N is triple bond. And of course, it's only have what? Induced, not induced dipole moment. Only induced dipole moment. Okay, because of the number of electrons around it. So they become very important when the things are near each other. And when are they near each other? When the molecules are near each other, when they lower temperature, they move slower, and that's where they will attract each other more. See? When they are moving fast at high temperatures, they're moving so fast, they don't have actually time enough to stop to attract each other. So it's not very important. At high temperature, the volume factor is more important. The volume you cannot change, right? The volume is fixed. So you can see here, Low temperature. Now, there's a question that is about here. So let me show you a, a question. I just got it here. I'll do it later. But 
Okay, let me page 71. Let's wait. Voila. 71. Okay, now this is a quick question here. Okay, the relationship with P with NRT. Now, why P with NRT? It means that this, this, this equation here is for ideal gas. That means that for ideal, ideal conditions and derived from the mechanics and blah, blah, blah. The ground represents the relationship between P mix of P. Okay, now, right? At three different temperatures, T1 to T3. All right? Right? Now, here, see, they all are deviating. Okay? Draw one line on the graph to show the relationship should be, should be the same. Should be the same amount of an ideal gas. Okay? Now, okay? One line should be the same. The relationship, that means P mix P V times V should be the same. Of course, if you talk about here, I put red color here, should be here. So I could, uh, okay. Uh, okay, so you're parallel to this fellow here. Okay, right? Let's draw one line on the graph to show the relationship should be the same amount. Like you guys, the same amount, P V is, you know, okay? But all this, this, will, this of course will be negative division. These two will be positive. Okay? Now, state and explain with reference to the graph which T1, T2 treated is the lowest temperature. Of course, T1 will be the lowest temperature. Why not? Because the lowest temperature, they are come closer together, closest of all, to experience what? To experience intermolecular forces, right? Why? Because closest, they are closest together to experience what? intermolecular forces. Okay? Now let's look at the marking scheme. Huh? Okay, it's on here. I put down here already. Okay, see the straight line, horizontal same as the T1, right? Greatest deviation. Okay? Why? Reducing T, reducing kinetic energy, it's moving, huh? movement, that means a particle moves slower, so intermolecular forces becomes more significant. Okay? That means they, are, they come closer together, they will experience more of the interpolar forces. Okay, so this is the answer here, right? So, so here, one and two. Okay, now last one here. State and explain the effect of pressure on the extent to which the gas deviates from idea. Okay, but pressure, I told you, huh? Now, here got two marks, I think. Yeah. So how does pressure affects the gas from deviating? Same thing. Okay, so. Pressure, now here, you can see here, they talk about only one, you know. So, greatest deviation at high pressure, you must say that. Okay, they give mark for that. All right? Okay. So, it says, greatest deviation is at high pressure. See, look, look, at, the, look at the question. Extend and explain. So, you must state, how does the pressure affect the deviation? State, okay. So pressure, right? The greatest deviation that like you see here, the greatest deviation is high pressure here, right? So it's one mark here. State. So the greatest here, great pressure, greatest deviation at high pressure. One mark. Remember, remember, high pressure affects two things. High pressure, high pressure, okay. High pressure. affects two of the conditions. One, of course, it will decrease the volume. Decrease the volume of gas. Well, it occupies. Volume of gas, it occupies. So why important? Therefore, the volume of the gas becomes significant. Then. Volume of the gas becomes more significant. Significant. That means you cannot neg neglect it. Number two, increase in pressure, what happens? Right? The volume will decrease also. Decrease in volume. What happens? The molecules become closer, say. Eh? Molecules become closer. Molecules become closer. Okay. Closer. Therefore, what? Experience what? Experience greater. Intermolecular forces. These two things will cause the assumptions to break down. Now, here, look at what they say here. Okay? 
increase in pressure decreases the volume. Right now. So the volume particles become more significant. Right so, but they didn't talk about the, the, the interpolated forces because here they already mentioned. So they won't give double mark. But you can say, because it's true. Right now. So here, the, here, see, in exams, uh, they, won't, they won't give extra mark for something you said in the beginning. So here you can say, well, increase in pressure causes the volume to decrease. So the, part, the volume of the particles becomes more significant. You can also say one more thing. You say that like in exam, you know, you say, so because of the decrease in volume, the, the particles are closer together, right? If I were you, I would say the whole thing, like, because how do you know, how do I know what, what kind of uh, marking they got? Okay, so the molecules become, become what? Closer together. Therefore, ex experiences what? Experiences greater intermolecular forces. Okay. Which is here. Right? Or become more significant. As I say, they would not give it two and I mark for the same idea, which is true, la, you know, of course, you test you on your ideas. Well. Okay? So now this is the question that I've got on this one. Okay? So I've done this already. Let's, let's go back to the whole thing. Huh? So this is how it comes up. Okay. All right, so I've done this part already. All right, so remember, Boyle's law breaks down at high pressure. Why? Okay, let me tell you here. High pressure because the volume will what? Will decreases. Right? Come smaller. Two things happen. The volume of the gas becomes up. Becomes significant. Thicken. That's what they say now. Okay. Secondly, right? Volume. Well, the 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 the, the, the gases become closer. Right? The gases closer. Therefore, what? Intermolecular intermolecular forces also significant. Intermolecular forces become significant. Ah, this this is the word they use. Significant. At low temperature, basically, uh, the kinetic energy is less, it moves slower. Okay, now, therefore, there is, they will experience more what? Experience more intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces. Okay? Okay, so you have to know how to answer your questions according to what CIE wants. Okay, now finish, yeah? I'll just finish, okay? Now this is, a, this is a, my old time you to teach about this. The, the wonder boss question is the blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about it, okay? Now let's look at some of the questions I've got. Line up for you. Okay, page 56. Uh, we look at some of the normal questions and how uh, voice law is applied, okay? So that you can see that what deviates from voice law. This, is, uh, this one is... Uh, 56 Kelsen. Some of you know what this thing is about here, man. Nope. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, use the data booklet for page number 15. What volume of oxygen measure under room conditions can be, can be obtained from thermal decomposition of 8.2 grams of calcium nitrate? Given. Now, in this case here, you have to know the equation for thermal decomposition, which you've done, you will, you will do later in group two, but this is done in form five. So you got, you, 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 you in your form five, you, you die here, okay? So remember, all nitrates, all metal nitrates, except PAS, potassium, ammonium, and sodium, will not have this one here. So all metal nitrates, you will decompose into three things. The, the, the oxide, and the dioxide, and what? Gas, oxygen, three of them. So the normal thing is two here, two here. Why? Because you have four here and you have one here. You can balance by yourself, that's it, okay? So here, the, they want the volume of oxygen only. That's what I mean, okay? Room temperature, RTP, okay? These two are gases, see that? 
right? The mode composition, very simple here. So two moles will give you one mole here. Simple as that. Yep. So 8.2 grams is 8.2 over 164. How many moles is that? Well, I found it to be 0 0.05 moles. So two more give you one more. One more here will give you 0 0.025 moles, right? Well, uh, RTP, one mole of gas occupies 24 times 24, okay? Which will give you actually, hold on, huh? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, I, uh, wait. Something wrong with this. I want to. Okay, so sorry about that. Now, here, okay, this equals to, well, 0 0.6 AM cube times 1600. Okay, this answer here. Okay, so you use the equation and very simple calculations. Okay, now let's get a 57. Right, now this is on uh, steam. Now these are very simple ones. I'm just giving some simple things and then we can go on from there now, okay? Uh, I'll give you some of the, well, the, diff, the, the more difficult ones later. Okay, I, I think I'll stop afterwards, okay? So here, the density of, of, of ice is one gram per cm cube. One moment of steam produced at, uh, when one cm cube of the ice is heated. Okay, of course, you can look, look at this way here. Okay, I'm going to just do it here, okay? So you can put the, the, the container, always draw a diagram, right? So let's say this would be the gauge here. All right, so the pressure here is equal to 101. One, one, I don't know why it's playing up with me. Okay. I don't know why. Okay, 101 kilopascals. I need to go to 101. Zero, zero, zero pascals, okay? Temperature is equals to 596 Kelvin. All right, one gram of ice, okay, one cm, okay, produce, okay, of, uh, what volume of steam produced when one cm cube, which means it's one gram. Here, of course, then the mass is equals to 1.0 gram, right? Okay, so quite simple then. Okay, uh, one more of gear uh, occupies here. So it heated to this temperature. Okay, so can you find it? Okay, so how many moles is it? Number of moles is equal to 1 over 16. I got it here at 0 0.056 moles. Okay, now. okay so. PV equals to NRT. Your P, so V, you ask you for the volume, is equals to N is mass, this was 0 0.056 times 8.31 times your 593. 596, sorry. 596 over your P is what? One zero one zero zero. Okay, you solve it out, you will get the answer. Okay, but this way is cannot. Okay, but this way is bad way actually. You find this a very bad way. So you use the other way. The other way is here. Okay, one more RTP. Right, one more RTP occupies what? One more RTP converse, huh? I just want to make oh, sure. I don't know what is happening. Got it? Something is there. Okay, now this method cannot use. Okay, the, the, the correct method is used like this. See one more, they use this, this thing here. One more of gas. So one more. Okay? Of the gas at what? At two 
nine eight Kelvin occupies what twenty four dm cube. Okay, so one mole of gas. Now uh, you double. This is the this is double the, the, the reason why I said okay, this is double this. Okay, so you double two times two nine eight is equal to five nine six. Right now. So increase in of course the temperature will double the volume. Forty eight dm cube. Okay. So one more at this temperature occupies okay, this one here. Therefore, zero point zero five six moles occupies. You will find this to be the volume is zero point two zero point two six. Uh, sorry, two point oh, what is the number? So let me count. Huh? Okay, this ODS is 48 times 0 0.056, 2.68, sorry, 2.68. So is the answer there? Yeah, okay. 2.68. So, 2.68 is on it. Okay. All right. So, this is the answer here. Okay. Well, let's move on to another question. Okay. Number six. Number. Now, here. An ideal gas obeys the gas laws under all conditions of temperature and pressure. Okay. All right. Under all conditions of temperature and pressure, which of the following are true when ideal gas? One, molecules are individual, correct. I do guess, huh? All right. Number two, no intermolecular forces, correct. Right? And this is true also. The molecules have an average energy proportion to absolute temperature. Okay, this you will learn later in your uh, Boltzmann distribution. Okay, next one here, 61. Let's see, 61, no? Okay, 61. Okay, answer six one was uh, question eight. Under which set of conditions of the gas is most likely to behave ideally? Right, at what? High temperature and low pressure. Okay, okay. I think I'll do one more and then we're going to uh, do more questions. Uh, time is coming up. Okay, now this one here is quite interesting. Page 66. 66 huh? This one make use of the idea of the volume of gas with the same number of particles. This okay here. Six, seven. Okay. Use of data bullets is relevant to this question. The, appro the approximate percentage composition of the atmosphere of four planets are given in the table below. Density of the gas will be uh, defined as the mass of one dm. Of course, density is equal to mass over volume. Is it? But right? it's quite simple. Right, so the density of a gas defined uh, as, as the P and so forth. Now, see which mixture of gases has the greatest density? Jupiter. Now, the very important thing is this idea, you know, Ma major gases percentage by number of molecules. Number of molecules very important. Okay. Now, in this case here, percentage. It means hydrogen gas, right? There are 89.8 .8 number of molecules. Okay? It means in 100 sample, in 100 sample, and 100 mole molecules. Sorry, 100 molecules. Okay? How many H2 molecules are there? There's 89.8. .8. There's how much it is? It's 10.2 for helium. The total number of molecules, how much? It's 100 molecules, isn't it? Do you understand? Similarly here, for, for, for Neptune, how, for 100 molecules of all the gases, all the gases here is 100 molecules. So how many of them are hydrogen? Hydrogen is 80.0, sorry, 80.0. And helium is 19.0. And of course the remainder here will be 1.0 because the total, the total here must be 100 molecules. This is a very important concept, otherwise you cannot solve it. Here, same thing. 
insulted. How many for 100 molecules there? How many molecules of hydrogen are there? There's 96.3 molecules. Okay, percentage wise. Okay, you times of course times 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 uh, 1,000 get the, the, the whole number lah. Okay, so here will be 3.25 molecules and here is what 0.45. This is the total molecules. How much? Also 100 molecules. See now, do you see that? Molecules, molecules. Here also same Uranus. No Uranus ah. Okay, it's 82.5 percent. This is one here, and of course here 15.2 and here's 2.3. It means the total number of molecules how much? Also 100 molecules. Now, why do I say this? Why is it Because remember or not? Uh, I put in blue. Uh. Remember the tissue before? The first thing you do about this one is now F. It, 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 if, if I put inside here, one mole of hydrogen gas. Okay. At RTP, okay, RTP pressure equals to one atmosphere. Okay, temperature equals to twenty five degrees centigrade. That's it. Okay, right on. And the volume here will be what? Volume will be twenty twenty four dm cube. That's not. Yes, right on. The volume is twenty four. How many? How many molecules are there? One more is it? Six point two molecules. Times the power twenty three. Okay now, now, so carefully, this is, this is how tricky the question is. I put inside here, the same thing here. Okay, methane, one more. Okay, different mass, same temperature and pressure. Pressure is equal to one atmosphere. Temperature equals to 25. Okay, the volume occupies also what? 24, is it not? Because you know, okay, Lussac's law. One more of any gas at RTP occupies the same volume. Damn cool. And here go how many, how many, how many, how many molecules of this one? Also same. Same number of molecules. Why not? Same number of molecules. That means they occupy the what? The same volume. That means we can say the volume here is V, 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 is it? See now. So to find the density, all you gotta do is find the mass of this whole thing, right? The mass. So what's the total mass of Jupiter A? The mass is equal to well, one molecule of hydrogen is two grams, so it's eighty nine point eight times two plus one helium is one helium now, so it's ten point two times four is it right now? Okay. That will give you, if you count out, I got it done for you, 189.8. The second one here, what's the total mass? It's mass one, mass two, huh? it's equal to 80 times two plus what? 19 times what? Four plus what? Plus one times 12 plus four is 16. This will give me 193 mass. This one will give me mass 3. Will give me 96, 96.3 times 2. Okay, plus 3.25 times 4. Plus 0 0.45 times 16. This will give me, actually, if you count out, 2202.4. One five. The last one here, the mass four is equal to eighty two point five times two plus fifteen point two times four plus two point three times sixteen, which will give me two one two point four. So it's the largest mass. Obviously, which one? Which one? But D. So. Same volume, the biggest mass. So this is the biggest density. Got it? It's easy, is it? So the whole thing lies on, say, the all of A, B, C, and D, all the the same number of molecules. This is the key word here. Otherwise, you will die used to solve this problem. Okay, now one more problem, bef uh, two more problems, okay, uh, quickly, uh, 62. Now this talks about, this is a very tricky question, 62. Okay. Here, the gas laws can be summarized by the ideal equation, which is true, then, because P equals NRT. 
where each symbol is usual name, which statements are correct. One more of an idea gets to keep the same volume, and it's true, right? Right? Okay, no sex law. The density of the ideal gas, uh, which is true, is it? Remember not? We talk about the roll over P equals to what? Remember not? Okay? Right? So, so, so with T. T here. Go okay, and check it out, okay? Now, this one is tricky. The volume of a given, mount, given mass of gas of the ideal gas is double if the temperature is raised from 25 to 50. It's called true not? P V equals to NRT. So, right? The given mass, huh? right? Now, let's say, uh, experiment one, experiment two. Okay, same thing here. We didn't change anything. Pressure is same. Pressure is same. P one, V one. Okay, N one, T one here. P two, V two, N two, P, T two here. And this is same. Right? Okay. Right? Same. So remember, if this the number moles is the same here. This one and this one, let me say P1, V1 over T1 is equal to NRT. Here P2, V2 over T2 is equal to NRT. Huh? So this should equal this end. That means you say that the volume of given mass is double when, uh, it means this will be double, this double over here if I increase it to uh, a double here. Cry not. Wrong! Because that even though the temperature is double, but the temperature here is not in Kelvin, it's in what? No, sorry, not in centigrade, it's in Kelvin, is it? Why not? This one here is what? 275 plus 25. It's what? It's a 300 Kelvin. This is how much? This is what? 275 plus 50. How much is this? It's uh, 5 to is 3. It's not double this. Not double. So it cannot be. So the the the, uh, the volume is not double. See, it's wrong. Yeah. So be careful. Centigrade and in Kelvin. Now the last one I want to show you is this one here. Right, page uh, seventy three. The rest I won't show you because time is not for us. Seventy three. I will go to, next. I'll go to Charles Law and Douglas Law partial pressure. Okay. So you can do the rest here for yourself. Okay, now this question is quite a good question. In the experiment, a sample of pure gas with no mixture, okay, is put into a gas range of temperature 300 Kelvin and pressure 116 kilopascals. The gas is compressed until the volume occupies, the gas is half, that means volume decreases by half. After compression, the temperature of the gas range is 375 Kelvin and the pressure is 440 kilopascals. Which statement is correct? Intermolecular forces become significant, okay? That means significant measurement, measurement is not ideal, not ideal anymore, okay? That means P V equals to NRT, but cannot jadi, cannot use already. It's possible to calculate the number of most gas using this data, you can see later, okay? The gas behave ideally, uh, that means P V equals to NRT. The gases are too high for ideal. It means, uh, it means not, 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 not ideal. So how do you do such a question? Very simple, right? I'm going to use on top here, right? Now, test one and two. Experiment one, experiment two. Experiment one, okay, a sample of pure gas is now volume occupied, okay, it's half. Let's draw diagrams, draw diagrams, draw diagrams. Okay, pressure here. I don't know why. Okay, let's draw here. Yeah, I exceed the limit. Okay, pressure here is equal to how much? 16 kilopascals. All right, temperature is how much? 300 Kelvin. Okay, we, now we put this as 16.00 pascals. Okay, All right? This is the volume V. Number of moles is N. The gas is compressed, the volume occupied is half. So now I'm going to put half here. Okay, half volume. The pressure P2 here is equal to how much? 40, okay, pascals. Yeah, or not. Temperature how much? 375 Kelvin, okay? 
volume is what? V over 2 is it. Number of moles is still the same one. Okay? So to see whether it's ideal or not, very simple. You all got to do is to calculate, remember? PV equals to NRT. Right? So N is the same, R is the same, so NRT is equals to what? PV over T. So what is, what is it equals to? Count, count it out. Uh. 16000 times what? What's the, what's the V here? Or what? Over uh, the temperature is 300. Let me see. When I need you, you don't respond. Time, time, time. I don't know why this is playing, playing out with me all the time. Okay. Over the temperature is 300. Okay. Now here. P2, V2 equals to NRT2. So NR is equals to, what is P? P is 40,000 times. So it's V over 2. Okay, over what? Over your temperature, which is 375. You will find these two, I did it here. They will give me 53 points. 33V also here give me 53.33V. So it's the same. That means what? It's ideal. See now. So prove by calculating like this, you can show that it's ideal. Okay? Now this is not the only one. There's, there's one more. Uh, let's say I just put a bit more time. Huh? Sorry about this. 58. Same idea. Okay, here. When a sample of gas is compressed at a constant temperature, 15002 is on here, and the volume changes here, which statements explains this behavior? Okay, non ideal, it means, will, will liquefy, it means uh, non ideal, absorbed into the vessel is quite stupid. Okay, so same thing, experiment one, experiment two, draw the diagrams. Okay, here we go. Okay, what's the pressure here? First pressure equals to P1 equals to 1500,000 pascals. Volume V1 76.0 cm cube. Right? You can change or don't change, okay? It doesn't matter because the, 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 the change factor doesn't matter. Okay? All right? So here the number of moles is N, let's say, okay? And the temperature is held constant. No. Okay? Some of the constant temperature so quite simple. Temperature is constant T. So here, second one. All right, pressure goes to 600. Lower, lower here. P2, 600 or 6,000. Okay, here V2 is how much? 20.5 cm cube. Okay, temperature is the same. Same as here. Same here. Number more here. Okay, right? So you can find out, okay? PV. Remember, PV equals to NRT. So if they're not the same, that means double A. Okay? So here, temperature is the same. Here, all the same thing. So, so basically, this is the same here. What's temperature? Same. So 1, 1 here. And this P, this P2, V2 equals to R, N, RT. I'm trying to hurry up. Same here. So P1, V1, is it equal or not? Okay, you found that it is not equal. This is equals to I, have, I don't so now I did it here, so I better give it here faster because time is not for us. Where is it now? Uh, it's 58. 58. 58. 58. Okay, this is equals to all right. If you look at if you don't convert it here, this is equals to uh one one four zero zero zero. This is equals to one, two, three, zero, zero, zero. Not the same. Okay? Deviate it. Huh? Positive deviation. That means what? Uh, that means it behaves not ideally. Right? Okay? You cannot say this one is true. This is the only factor. Okay? So I've done, I finished ideal gas for boys law. The next, the next one I'll do, with, of course, is uh, uh, just to skim through uh, uh, Charles law. Uh, Dalton's law of partial pressure calculations, and hopefully, uh, to finish off 
you know, uh, the, the liquids and solids if I can. All right, see you guys. Bye bye. I want to stop this for here. Stop. Okay.